All right, here we go, y'all. This is the final episode of season two. It's called No Going Back. Oh, tell, tell me about it. I can't believe it. I'm already up to the season finale of uh, season two. Yeah. Man, this journey, whew, I must I'll say, is uh, mind blowing. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching and, and tuning into the stream. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's go. Season finale. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Draco! Right right I'm shoot it! I'll do it! it. Drop it! Yeah, Drop it! Don't, it. Be don't, move. Move. don't move! Don't move! I said don't move! Don't move. move. Everybody be cool! Last episode ended with a whole big shootout. Let's see where they are now. They're dead. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So, five. Oh, man, whole big shootout. Oh, God. One. Okay. Them bro. Say little baby. Oh shit. That's close. Hey! What are you doing? Bam! Get behind cover! You're out! Oh shit! I didn't even see him out there! Good work, Clem. Okay, okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. <coughs> Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us until he runs out of ammo. Gotta do something. Quit talking about it and do it. Yeah, yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker. I kill every one of you. <laughs> if I could just get over to that side of the wall, I could maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, alright? Just shoot over to his woods. Maybe it'll give him something to think about. Yeah, okay. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? Alright, I'm on go. Luke, are you okay? Oh, he got me in the leg, but I, I, think, I think it 
went straight through. Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. You get out here, or I put a bullet in this kid's hand. Shut up! Отпусти меня, прошу. Ты должен быть с ним. Then shut up! Leave him alone, Kenny. He's just a kid. No, I'm ending this. Get out here, right fucking now! This is my shield, Natasha. Ты ублюдок. Ты так могучий. Fight me, you boy. Fight your weapon. Get out here! Отпусти меня. Я должен посмотреть, если здесь все в порядке. Stop swerving, damn it! No! Natasha! Natasha! No! Please! Пался, сукин сын. Я оставлю меня на тебя стекать. Чего? Oh, so lights didn't get him. Oh, it's Jane. Nope, watch his back. Oh, damn, right in the back of the back of the neck. Ooh. Suffering, squirming. Damn. Put him, <laughs> can't put him out of the misery, I guess. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. There, I got the guns and ammo. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. I thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Yeah, because she's back. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I've never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way, that didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. I didn't think it would be. It is. Yeah, she saved us. You saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it. But it felt wrong. I wanted to join. Come on. She had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just, she just lost too much blood. R.I.P. Rebecca. Thank you. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. Give her your beautiful boy. You know we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She would have been a good mom. Yeah, yeah, she would have. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please! He's just a scared kid, man. Move out of the way, Mike. You... Clem, you, you don't mean that. That is house, food. Please. Please, I can take food? it. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. He's lying. We can't trust him. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. 
We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. It doesn't matter why it happened. We have to move on. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up? Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me, despite everything I've seen, you know what? Everything I'm I've glad. Yeah, I'm glad she's back. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's that's good, because you're probably ninety percent of the reason I came back. Oh really? And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. It's changing him. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! Wait, we need to stop. No, no, I'm I'm fine. Okay, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Penny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. Nah. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best yeah, stop. Sorry for Baffus, Kenny. Okay? If you know Arbor. what's good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. 
Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes. I guess I should work on that. They're not all like that. There are good men, too. My friend Lee. He was a good man. Well, I wish I had had a chance to meet him. Me, too. I wish she was here now. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Damn it. Yeah, probably just a flesh wound. Don't worry, you're gonna be okay. How did we get here? What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with, just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. And for what? They don't make any sense. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What I miss? Hmm. Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining mostly. Kinda. Guess how far this place is. I'd like to get off this leg sooner than later. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? Looked very thin, though. I'm the jacket. sure most of that will come out warm. with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. Yeah, it's gotta she get knows. done. Yeah, Clem knows her experience. The damn's gonna sting now, Paul. Oh. But for the best to clean it so it don't get infected. You can do it. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. It seems fitting. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. To Bonnie. I told her I'm fine. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. See how bad it is? Or you. Your damage. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we?
I can't need some stuff to do to get a little alcohol wiping. So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. Let's do it. So, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. Hell. We need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, is that smart. It'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here. Raising this boy. It should be him, not me. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. Alright, time to wrap it up. This. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Good. We're good. Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit! Is that it? I thought you said it was a house! Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house! There's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! Uh, thank you. I'll mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit! Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Stop fighting! Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night, where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. I'll see if, uh... See if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. It's like you're out of tongue? Hmm. Wouldn't have guessed that'd work. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <sighs>
<laughs> Damn, they boy got they got him stringed up like that. Today's my birthday. Here as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So that makes you what? Twenty-seven? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. I'd have liked to go to college. I hope I can go someday. Maybe when this is all over. I hope so too, Clem. I don't know. Just a waste of money. Well, the major in art history hasn't helped too much the last few years. Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all. Ooh, figure. Booze, little booze go. This on. is as good a time as any. Hmm. Can I get a sip? I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Oh, uh... wait. You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the. Uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> To the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. Baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. You sure? Yeah. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. The good thing, she saved our ass. I know, I know, I just don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. That has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that'd explain a few things. Oh, come on, I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey! Alright, alright, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, for both of you. <laughs> A lot more than kissing. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. As you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. 
Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Oh, rum to drink. Oh, that's what it is, rum. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? Rum? She cute. She clearly likes loot. There's some chemistry going on. I don't know. And that it, it might be awkward. That a gift tub, you know? I wasn't expecting to, you know, be around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want a sip? It's okay. It just might burn a little. Feel it in your nose. For Kenny, you know. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver then. Cool. But I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now, there aren't any cops. <laughs> I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. It was not sugar candy. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Amy thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Holy shit. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Oh, okay. Convince Jane to join the group. Make her feel welcome. She's part of this, part of the fam. Wanna sit here? No, that's, I'm fine. Oh yeah, okay, wherever you like. See if I can get anything out of him. I've lost people too. We all have. Leave me alone, please. 
Oh, now you're starting to speak English. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. Sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there. A whole lot for a couple years, off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him, from my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. Play catch with Doug. Touch Conscious Face. Anything in the world. I miss Doug too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy, that's all. A boy like that. Thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. Alright, got them both to join the group. Now I can't talk to her. <laughs> Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> Shh, all right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that... You don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. Whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So, I think it's best to- Oh shit. Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have- Leave me alone! Please, <laughs> David. It's okay. It's okay. 
She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Back on trail. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah! Jesus Christ. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? I should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. Here we go. Walk slowly on, on the breath, then nice. Okay, don't worry. Oh my God, he does walkers behind us. Oh shit! We got some walkers behind us. That's well, only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out, and we'll be fine. Hey! Oh shit. Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't run! Well, they made it. Almost there. 
Oh shit, no not Luke. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just I just got to be careful. Oh, oh no! shit. Stop. Stop. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just got to pull myself out. You need help, Luke. The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No. Clem, go. Fall through. Go help no, him. No, Clem, do not. Just go back for him. You're lying. You Stop can do it. Stop telling her that. Clem. Look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, it's too dangerous. He's gonna yeah, die, I just need Clem. some more time. You guys gotta hurry. You'll fall through. I can figure I'm it out. Do it, Clem. Clementine, stop. Clementine! Because light, because Clem is lightest. I think she could have a little bit. Just go back. Please. I got you. It's gonna be alright. Fuck. Damn, no. Come on. Oh, Luke! Not you. Damn, bro. Sorry, help. Fuck. RIP. It's okay, I got you. No. I got you. Yeah. Come on. Luke. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go. Oh, to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. Damn, so many. Damn, another one. Ah, oh, fuck. It's hard to put together, like, my reaction, like. Did that happen? Damn, Luke was a good guy. There's For a fireplace. The crew that we lost. Jesus Christ. We have to get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. Hey, she's gone. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. I tried to help him. I just... Said I started to go. There wasn't nothing any of us could do. Clem tried to help him. He just... Oh, God. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Here Kenny, it is. don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault. The hell it ain't. I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. And those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit! Yeah, Teddy! Fuck you. Well, that's our fault if you've written the around. No, yeah, outside of Kenny, it's our fault. What did I'm you like do this. to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili? It's gonna help. How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. 
You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? I thought I had matches. I don't feel bad. I'm starting not to feel bad for our bro. I did a little bit. I did, I did a little bit during the middle, but now probably not, not. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus, he could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. We'll be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. she have to say I know she was running her mouth what did she say you shouldn't have done that to Arvo I know I know Clem but, but Luke... I don't care you can't do that Jesus Clem you know me you know I'm not like that you scared me you scared all of us Kenny it won't happen again that's a promise It's over, but AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on, let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that.
We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Mexico? What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago, just before I met Cap. Damn, Mexico. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! We'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Wish they'd finished this place. Jenner, oh, Jenner. Busted. Looks like it's about to collapse. Talk to Bonnie. Want one? Let's go for it. Why not? Sure. Remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Go on. You can be honest. I try not to have any regrets. Yeah? I wish I could manage that. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't really know what I want. Maybe I ought to start thinking about it. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. Mm, 
What's that look at? Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. Damn, I also have built. They look like about to collapse. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn it. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. But then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. I guess we're getting close. Not rocket science. Want to try? You want to try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Ooh, it looked blood. Gross. I saw it like a little red. That was a. Blood, 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 blood. Looked like that. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. You got it oh, working. Oh yeah, you got it working. Nice. It works. But I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? 
It's just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington, right, Clem? Wellington? Penny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Ooh, oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Yeah. Some scary theme, scary de theme, dark music comes on. When Kenny's uh, talks to him. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. If their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we going to find baby formula? I don't know. But sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. And that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. 
Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. going on out there. Listing all that stuff, take your truck, all the digits. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just. We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. I need that stuff too to survive. They were robbing us. I need that stuff too. They were left over nothing. Oh, we're the relief. Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick. But my brother always had something. I always thought he was faking it. It's not like a cold. No. It's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Did Lily do that to Carly? 
I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. I see Lee. Well, people don't always make sense. How come? As bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. I'm not dead, but I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out by a thread. Looks like it got shot. She's awake. In the arm. Ooh. <laughs> left shoulder. Left. Oh, let's see the chest. Just a look below his shoulder. Hey, you. Clem. Oh, thank God. He passed out from the shock. We've been worried as hell. On the truck. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. It's miles in the other direction. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from my cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. 
Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? Oh, she's I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Don't you fucking talk about them! This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! Fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Oh shit. Some walkers. It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit there. Jesus. Blizzard shit. Oh, 
Oh, this is a bad place to get lost. Some walkers out. I'm not going, I can't see. somewhere rest stop Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. I don't understand! You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Ugh! <laughs> 
Is alive. Hope we are gonna lose another one. Oh yeah, he's alive. There, there, EJ. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Thank God.
head would walk into a herd. Okay, our uh, choices for episode five. No going back. Protected the baby. You and fifty-eight percent of players protected the baby. Went to help Luke. You and thirty-three percent of players tried to help Luke. Asked to leave with Mike. You and eight percent of players didn't ask to leave with Mike. Shot Kenny. You and fifty percent of players shot Kenny. In the end, who are you with? You with one. Wow, that's the lowest right there. Twenty-five percent. Are with AJ? All right, think about wrap it up right there. Man, what a season. Holy shit. I would say um, a lot of, you know, if you're a first-time player of uh, The Walking Dead, uh, you know, expect the unexpected. It can be a lot of tough choices, a lot of people, characters you probably get attached to uh, very quickly. And, you know, Things happen. It's like, like, just like I experienced through the whole season right now. And of course, season one. But I, I would say, yeah, I would say, holy shit. All right, I'm just going to wrap it up right here. I want to thank everybody for watching. And those who tuned into the stream, uh, your support really really helps. I appreciate it. I'm planning on make, making uh, more, not just Walking Dead videos, but want more game videos in, soon. I can't also can't wait to soon play my PS5 and get it get it running and streaming. See what it's capable of. I'm, just, I'm so excited. 
So I will see you all um, very soon, and I want you all to take care. All right. See ya.